Um, this brings us up to talking about uh, science and God. Now, you'd watched Go God Go, uh, the, both the episodes, and which, you know, is a critique on, on uh, atheism um, and isms in, in general um, in favor of the scientific, scientific method or science, um, you know, which most, most avi- uh, atheists are a- advocates for. Okay? Um, but, you know, at its core, science is a way of discovering truth. And I put truth in quotes because what is truth? It's incredibly hard to say what truth is because, you know, science, um, you can land at truth that you want depending on your pathway to finding those, those, those truths, okay? Now, science can be doctrinal in some ways. Um, you know, it's not a doctrine. There is no particular science, as South Park kind of um, plays on in Go, Go, Go. Um, there's no doctrine of science, but there are beliefs, and these beliefs have been proven as a lot of gravity. <laughs> you know, something like, something like that, you know. Um, you know, these have been proven as sort of laws um, that are unquestioned, in the com- you know, because they, they exist, and it's called, it's called science, it's called, it's called a truth. But that truth is always subject to interrogation, and that's the difference between um, science even in dogmatic ways, you know, is that science, what's been proven as scientific truth is always up for questioning, is always up for challenge, okay? And the scientific method is, is this routine, is this way that you, you know, and I'll go over this in a second, um, this method for discovering truth um, and theory, essentially, um, you know, in, ma- in creating a, a theory, you know, based upon this, this method of, of inquiry. So, someone comes up with a scientific theory, a scientific, essentially, a truth. Eventually, that theory is tested, you know, by another theory. If the theory that tested is, is simpler, um, you know, there's less questions about it in, in the sense of how, of, of how it works or the validity of it. Um, it expands on and explains more things. Um, and it, it kind of agrees with what we already know. And it does more. There will be a new theory. Um, you don't have this with religion, right? Because um, many religions are, are old and rooted in, in history and these sort of historical uh, beliefs as truth. Okay, there's no contesting that. Um, imagine if our science was the same science that we had uh, in 100 AD, which is kind of one way to think about, you know, uh, the Catholic religion is its science, its belief systems, its ways of thinking about the world are consistent with, you know, what people believed 2,000 years ago. Imagine if our science was 2,000 years dated, okay? So what's the scientific method? Here's this little graphic. One, question. What do I want to learn about, right? Or what would happen if we did this? That's the first place. It starts with a question about something and how it works. You next come up with a hypothesis, okay? Um, Basically, this is an educated guess. I think that this will happen because of this. You do some research, right? And you come up with a hypothesis. And the next step is this. Okay, I think that this is going to do this because of this. Then it comes up to testing. So that's number three is experimentation. You test your hypothesis, okay, and you make and plan, and you, you conduct an experiment. And there's all these, you know, that's, a, you know, I'm simplifying the fuck out of this, but, you know, this is the basic for it, okay? During that experience, you record the results and you observe what happens. Um, you analyze the data is the next step. You take the information and you draw conclusions. You, you, you test your hypothesis, essentially. Um, was your hypothesis correct or incorrect? And sometimes your hypothesis, and many times your hypothesis being proven incorrect is actually more valuable scientifically than having it buttressed. Okay? And the next step is share your results. This is the basic of, you know, of, of scientific method of, of inquiry. 
Now, in Go God Go, they explore um, this concept of logical fallacy. Um, and in South Park, in, in general, right? Since it hasn't been proven false, it's likely true that God is a flying spaghetti monster. Um, this, this whole concept is, you know, you know, well, no one's proven it to be false, therefore it's true. You know, and this is an important part, um, logical fallacy of, of many um, religious belief systems. No, you know, no one's proven that Jesus um, didn't exist or that the prophet Muhammad didn't exist. No one can prove that, right? Um, and since it hasn't been proven false, it's, it's true. In logical fallacy, there's what's called an appeal to ignorance. That is that um, without evidence doesn't mean there isn't evidence. <laughs> you know, uh, it's true because it's not proven untrue. I mean, again, it goes back to this element of like, you cannot prove, you know, that, uh, that Noah's Ark happened. You cannot, you cannot pr prove that Moses didn't split the, wet, the Red Sea. You can't pr prove that. You can't actually, you know, show that it's untrue. And therefore, it's true. That's the appeal to, I the, the appeal to ignorance, okay? The thing about science, though, is that um, and this kind of gets touched upon in Go God Go, is that, you know, what happens in the future, what we find out in the future, will overturn and flip upside down the truth that is, you know, current. The truth that we're living in now will become false, you know. It will be, in science, when you adhere to scientific method, what is our truth in 2020 may not be our truth in 2025, you know. But in religious, you know, in, in religion, the burden of proof is put on the believer. Okay, prove to me that Moses split the Red Sea. Prove to me that Jesus um, exists. We, we put these, you know, prove to me that there are Galgamex. Prove to me, um, you, know, uh, uh, you know, that Joseph Sm Smith, you know, looked in a hat and... Uh, you know, and looked at the seer stones, and God spoke to him, and he wrote, wrote that down, as we'll, we'll, we'll see, challenged in um, All About Mormons. Okay, but logical fallacy is just a really important um, element of religious belief and, and faith in, in that, you know, you can't prove it's untrue, therefore, therefore it's true. But it brings up this debate, and this is really heavy duty in Go, God, Go, um, you know, of, you know, religion can't explain how the world works. You know, this concept of divine intervention that, you know, um, Miss, Miss, Mrs. Garrison goes into, you know, that, you know, we're all the byproduct of a retarded fish monkey or something like that, um, <laughs> uh, you know, is, 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 is interesting, uh, but like you know, religious religion gives us ethics. It gives us ways of seeing um, seeing the world. It gives us meaning and purpose, but it doesn't explain how things work. You cannot use divine intervention, and this is what's expressed in that episode and in, in the book chapter. You cannot use um, uh, you know uh, religion to explain evolution or explain you know. I'm not talking the theory of evolution. You can't use religion to explain why people exist, that we were made out of clay, that God touched Adam, you know, etc. Et it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense in a world of science. And, 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 and so religion can give us ways to make meaning out of science, um, how to live ethically, but, you know, it's not a way of describing what happened to the dinosaurs. Um, the important thing about science versus religion is that science is open to scrutiny. It's open to critique. It is not considered the truth forever. It's always up for contestation. It's always up for scrutiny. It's always up for analysis. Religious claims are not necessarily. It's blasphemous, considered blasphemous, to, to question whether Jesus existed or not. Okay? The interesting thing that 
we see, and we see this uh, satir satirized in Go God Go, is that many religious believers are quick to um, critique other religious beliefs. Oh, those Mormons, you know, if you're, if you're a Christian. Oh, those, ca oh, oh, those, cla those Catholics. Or Scientology, you know, um, Scientologists uh, have been, you know, historically, um, its leaders have been happy to critique other religious belief systems as old and dated until, uh, until people start critiquing uh, the Church of Scientology and then they get really fucking mad. Um, you know, so again, like a lot of people who um, believe, who are faithful in many ways, uh, you know, they may critique other religions or be more open to it, but they're not open to having their own religion critiqued and brings up this question is can you know science be seen as a religion because it can be thought of you know as a religion and this is what's explored in Go God Go. What happens when when science becomes your religion when when Richard Dawkins and Mrs. Garrison become uh, your gods uh, es essentially you know um, you know uh, science damn it you know I love that stuff 